It is 2.30 here in the Central Time Zone. This is Burl Sports, broadcast of a 1967 Topps Complete Set Group Break. Thank you for watching. Thank you for buying in. If you're one of our participants, we will get started with this break right away. 609 cards, 609 slots in this break. One of them was given away for free. You, the rest of you bought. 608 of them so all the slots have been copied from my orders and your names in here however many slots you bought so 609 of those if this is your first time joining us what we do is we copy and paste these into random.org's list randomizer which is right here if you ever want to go play around with that but we copy and paste. We will randomize three times. It'll be the third time that sticks. Then we will I'll pull the list from there. Copy and paste it right next to this checklist. Whoever's name comes out first gets card number one. Whoever's name comes out second gets card number two. And so forth. So we will not read all 609 names. We'll look at about 40 or so hits. I, I pulled every card that has a book value of 50 bucks or more. And we will look at those of you who hit those, because those are going to be our biggest hits, as well as a couple of extra cards that were that were graded. Um, and let's see. If you have any comments, you're welcome to use the social stream. If you're viewing on Ustream, a Ustream app, it may be called chat um, or social stream. If you're on my website, you can just scroll below the player and you should see a option to view past breaks. There's just a tab there that says uh, chat. You can click on it and interact with us that way. Most of you don't typically do that, but if you want to brag about a hit you got or jaw drop at something, feel free to. Um, without any further ado, we have copied and pasted the names from the list. We will randomize three times. So here's number one. Scroll down. Number two. And the third time will be the one that sticks. All right. So that's the third time. Here we go. Randomize the list three times. This is our timestamp. We will copy. We will paste. We'll delete those extra cells there so we're all lined up. Let me make these bigger so we can s read them. Make them wide. A little narrower. Look at that. Again, one a little bit bigger. The way we're just seeing them one at a time. Don't want to give anything away. All right. Oh, let me pull. Let me pull this back up. That way, if anybody chats, I'll see your comments. And here we go. So, Mark, you hit card number one. Didn't quite hit the book value threshold, but a really nice card, the Champs. The first hit we'll look at is card number 45. Make that a little narrower. Okay, so first hit we'll look at is card number 45, Roger Maris. Alright, so Roger goes to Andre. Nice card, Andre. And again, if this is your first time joining us, I will post the full results online after the break is over. The next hit we'll look at is card 146. That is Steve Carlton. This one's graded a 6 by PSA. So, card 146. Goes to Mike Yelfman. Nice card, Mike.
The next hit we'll look at is Mickey Mantle, card number 150. And the mantle goes to Andre. Two for three so far, Andre. Not bad. This is a four and a half by SGC. Next card is card number 200, Willie Mays. Great. It's graded a 45 by SGC. Let's see. That's card 200 goes to Steve White. Nice card, Steve. We'll look at Bob Gibson, who's 200 and, card number 210. Created a PSA 6. Let's see, card 210 goes to Michael Fickle. Nice Bob Gibson. The next card we'll look at is card 250, Hank Aaron. Goes to Gary White. Nice card, Gary. We have Yaz. It's card number two or 355. Goes to Todd Ferrand. There you go, Todd. Next, we'll look at card number 400, which is Roberto Clemente. Graded a PSA 5. That goes to Andre. Next up, we'll look at card 423, Fence Busters with Mays and McCovey. It's created a PSA 4. Goes to Todd Ferrand. Next, we'll look up, we'll look at Pete Rose, who's card number 430. Goes to Mikey Alfman. Nice card, Mike. Notice skipping around quite a bit. Said there were about 40 cards we'd pulled. A lot of that value's in the high numbers. If any of you've built this set, you know that for sure. Next up's card 460, the Killebrew. Also a fairly tough card in this set. Goes to Sam Aston. Nice card, Sam. Jim Palmer's up next, card 475. Goes to Joseph Stanton. Next up is card 536, which is a high number. The Necro Rookie, another fairly tough card. What did I say? Yeah, 536. Goes to Nathan Lindgren. Norm Cash. It's 500, card 540. We are into those high numbers now. Norm goes to Robert Parsons. Some value there. If you're not a self set builder, you're you're still definitely getting some nice ROI for your for your slot. If you're a set builder, some of these cards are pretty key to getting this set put together. Next up is card 558. The Orioles rookie stars card goes to Andre. Next up, 560, Jim Bunning. Goes to Troy Kearney.
Next up is the Carew rookie. Hall of Fame rookie high numbers are always fun, right? So 569 goes to Michael Fickle. Next up, we'll look at the next card, 570, which is Mari Wills. That goes to Steve White. Card 580 is Rocky Calavito. Another card that's caused many headaches for set builders. That goes to Joseph Stanton. All right, and the arguably the biggest hit in the set is the Seaver. This is graded at SGC fifty-five. It's card five hundred and eighty-one. Goes to Craig Harris. Nice card, Craig. Great hit. Again, with the Hall of Fame rookie high numbers. So we do have another half dozen, uh, half dozen hits we're going to look at. But a lot of these high numbers could be considered hits, depending on your definition. But we're looking at book value of fifty dollars or more, and we'll post the full results after this is over. So Wes Westrom, this card five hundred ninety-three goes to Pat Gillespie. Another Hall of Fame high number here, card number 600, Brooks Robinson, goes to Brian Muldoon. If you're going to hit a high number, that's not a bad one, Brian. All right. Four more to go here, four more to look at. So card 604 is the Red Sox team card. Jeremy Suiatui, nice. I don't know if I said your name right, Jeremy, but Jeremy was the winner of our free slot in this break, so that's a good card to hit on your free slot, that's for sure. Only about only 15 of you entered the contest this time for the free slot. Somebody's got to win it. Might as well enter, folks. Next up. We have card 605, which is Mike Shannon. Goes to Nathan Lindgren. Fairly nice centering on the Shannon card there. Card 607. Mickey Stanley goes to Andre. Last but certainly not least, Tommy John. The last card in the set goes to Sam Aston. Lovely look on Tommy's face there. Looks like he just finished a elbow surgery, right? Okay. Anyways, thank you all for joining us for the 1967 set break broadcast. I'll get these full results posted up shortly. It looks like nine of you viewed live, and I will send an email out when I get those results posted, and the video will also be available for viewing. So thank you for joining us. Thanks for buying in. Next set breaks are going to be a, a double feature coming up live, coming up for sale on Friday. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks again, and have a great day.